Hi, I'd like to give you a quick overview on half reactions. So here's your definition of a half reaction. And remember, we use these in redox reactions. <clears throat> it is writing separate, that's the key, separate ballast equations for the oxidation and reduction processes. So really, here it is. You only show half of the redox reaction. You know in redox reactions, something has to gain electrons, something has to lose electrons. Well, when we do half reactions, we um, look at the part that only loses electrons, the oxidation half reaction. Or we look at the, uh, the species that only gains electrons, the reduction half reaction. So I have some examples here for you. Here we have reduction half reactions, and on this side I have oxidation half reactions. I want you to notice first thing where the electrons are written. For the reduction half reactions, we have electrons on the reactant side. Why is that? Reduction, GER, gain electrons reduction. Reduction half reactions gain electrons. And so you have your species, it has to gain electrons to become this product with um, a changed oxidation number showing it gained electrons. So for reduction, you always write the electrons on the reactant side because it's going to gain, that species will gain those electrons. In contrast, check out oxidation. The electrons are always written on the product side. So what does oxidation mean? Leo, lose electrons oxidation. Um, so you're going to begin with a species on the reactant side and is going to lose electrons. So on the product side, you have your species um, that the oxidation number has changed that is lost electrons. And so what's one of the other products? The electrons that are lost, the electrons that are lost. Um, notice, in addition to this, that these are balanced, okay? That these are balanced. Um, you've got the one silver ion, one silver. Half reactions will be balanced. Now, if you're given a half reaction and asked to balance it, you're going to follow the same rules as far as the number of atoms you begin with is, has to be the number of atoms that you end with. I do have two videos, um, balancing half reactions in, or balancing reactions in acid, balancing reactions in bases. Look under my redox playlist, and in each of those, I give an example of how to balance half reactions. So check that out in case you need that. Um, in addition to this, this is really where we use half reactions. You can take, all right, one reduction half reaction, one oxidation reaction, half reaction, and add them together so that you get an overall balanced redox reaction. Um, I have a video, that's all I do, is balance redox reactions using the half reaction method. So check out that video under the redox playlist. Now, just a kind of big overview, an umbrella of half reactions and where we use them, I made a list for you. Uh, first, you find these half reactions on the standard reduction potential table. Um, notice I put the standard reduction potential, that's the E naught um, values for each of these. And I wanted you to see, I was um, purposeful in choosing these, um, that you could have positive or negative numbers. If you're not familiar with standard reduction potential, um, this is a huge part of electrochemistry. Um, please watch my video on standard reduction potential, um, and I'll explain those to you. Oxidation, same thing. You can have some positive and some negative, and it's just showing us if that is spontaneous or non-spontaneous, requires energy, um, or releases energy when um, this particular half reaction happens. Um, so, if you want to look at uh, half reactions, you go to the standard reduction potential table. That's a mouthful. Um, next, we use them to balance redox reactions. Watch that video if you have to. Um, this is huge. This is huge. We use um, half reactions in electrochemical cells because in electrochemical cells, <clears throat> one cell is reduction, one cell is oxidation. So it makes it really convenient that we can write the particular half reaction for that exact cell, that exact cell. Um, you can use these to balance redox reactions, um, and the way you do that is that you ha add the half reactions together. You have to be careful that electrons are balanced and that atoms are balanced, just like every redox reaction. But it can be an easy way to balance um, overall re <coughs> excuse me. redox reactions. <coughs> excuse me. Tickle in my throat. So <coughs> there you have it. Half reactions, a lot of other supporting videos that you can watch. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks.